hello and welcome back to another video um thank you for clicking on this video and if you're new please be sure to like subscribe and share this video with your friends and family and do be sure to come back and watch more videos thank you in today's day i'll be making a key holder and i'm gonna be using this wood that I had from a previous project. It just came off of a drawer. Um, some sunflower, I'm absolutely in love with sunflower, so I like to use sunflower. Sponge, some old keys that you have laying around. I'll be using four, some screws to screw the keys to the wood, pliers, a drill, hot glue gun, a round circle um, stencil from the Dollar Tree, and a black and white acrylic paint. Let's get into this video. Now I'll be putting two coats of white acrylic paint onto the wood, and I'll be doing the edges all around also and it this paint dry really quickly so let it dry and then come back in for about 10 minutes to do the second coat and as you can see the wood have four small holes on there I'm gonna be using those to cover it up just put I'm putting four sunflower on there so that's what I'm doing right now using a hot glue gun now while it's drying I'll be using the pliers and bending the key back it'll be better if you have another pliers or something to hold the other end to make it easier for you but I didn't have one so I'm just using my hand as a guide to bend it back and this is how it should come out now I'll be Screwing the using the screw to drill the keys onto the wood. You might want to pre drill a hole, but I didn't think it was necessary, so I just drilled it as I go, and it was pretty easy to um, drill. And it's no particular order, I just eyeballed it and put it where. Um, I want I wanted it to be don't worry about the paint on my hand this paint is really easy to come off so that's why I didn't put a glove on now I'll be using the stencil to put the wording on there I'm using I'm putting home on there um, you can put whatever word you want to put on there just choose, choose to put that and I just realized that it's not gonna lay flat enough so now I'm gonna be removing two of the keys and if I do this again I would definitely do the stencil first and then put the keys on last And I did get a little bit of black paint on there, but it's okay. You just use the white paint and just go over where you mess up and it'll be okay. And that's what I'm doing here. Now I'll be putting the keys back into the holes. Pretty easy because the hole is already there. And I know I didn't show you guys the yarn, but I forgot. I'm gonna, just going to cut a little piece and put the yarn secure with the hot glue gun on the back and let it sit and dry.
and this is the finished product i hope you guys enjoyed this quick and simple diy and i hope you come back and thank you so much for clicking on this video god bless you have a wonderful day